How, so what did, what have, what's the first thing you you know you done since you got there at LaSalle getting a job? I mean, I know you know corona and there's uh, COVID nineteen nonsense mm -hmm. is going on. So what are some of the things you've done just to you know get acclimated with your you know with the school and and the players? Yeah, I've I've been in contact with a lot of the people at the school. You know, just talking to them. Um, obviously, two interviews with the school to get the job. Um, I met with the coaching staff on, you know, on Zoom and stuff like that, just to talk about, you know, different types of things. Number one, um, kind of give the ideas and the philosophies of, of what I think we can do at LaSalle, uh, you know, obviously with me being the head coach now. And then today I just got a, you know, big group message and sent it out to the players and let them know that, you know, hey, this is my number. If you need anything, um, you know, stay on top of your schoolwork, do what you need to do. Um, doing something running and lifting if you can you know push-ups and dribbling the ball or whatever um you know just keeping yourself uh, around the game but yeah just reaching out as much as myself available to everybody that's kind of been the first step now i noticed that um you know you kind of you kind of reunited with one of the players jamiah evans over there who was there as a freshman, I believe, or a sophomore before transferring over to mm -hmm. LaSalle. So that's a that's a good feeling. You got a little bit of um, you know him a little bit, and uh, you know some of the other guys. So what it, you know, looking from afar, I think you played them last year, right? Or they were your turn or something. Yeah. Like that. So talk to me about some mm -hmm. of the players that you're going to be coaching uh, next year, coach. Talk to me about a little bit about those those guys. Yeah, you know, I know obviously since he was uh you know in the seventh and eighth grade because he was at troy when i was there and then when i became the head coach three years ago he was on the jv team um so you know i him uh, i coached him in the summer i think going into his sophomore year you know we were looking to bring him along with us before he left uh, and went to LaSalle. um uh, and it was the year we went on the the sectional title run um, but the guys there have been, you know, around Troy's program, you know, since the youth level. So I've known a lot of them through AU. Um, and so they're familiar with me. I'm familiar with them uh, for the most part. Uh, you know, we have Kalon Dixon, um, who is a Troy kid, um, you know, coming up and playing in the Troy Corps and, and uh, AAU and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously, Jemai is there. Fred Wagner, who's also a Troy kid. Lachine Lewis is a Troy guy. Uh, but then, you know, I'm just excited to do, you know, the Gabe Lucarellis, uh, Bo Catherwood, you know, all those guys. And, you know, you know them through basketball, but you don't know them uh, necessarily. They don't know me personally. I'm excited to get in the gym and meet those guys and, and have those basketball discussions and work out and, you know, get their games ready for, for this upcoming season. Now, one thing I did notice that um, in the papers I read with uh... – I think Joe Boyle from the record, and he mentioned he wondered how you would do um, with Jemiah, um, him being a big, and you, you know, like Troy, you was up and running, you run up and down. But I, I, I saw it differently, man. I saw you, you could do both, both styles. You can go up and down, you can, you can find it in the middle as well. So I don't really think there's a problem there. Um, can you ease the minds of some of the people who might think that's an issue? Yeah, no, you know, I think uh, being a coach and being especially a high school coach, you have to adapt to who you have. There have to be some tweaks to what we do. Um, you know, it's not like we're Syracuse and, um, you know, Jim Beheim where we can just say we're going to pick kids left and right that are going to be able to play the two threes. We're going to have to adjust to who's at our school and, and what we can do. And I think that goes, you know, along with what we're trying to do at LaSalle. Obviously, they're going to be the tallest team I've had. Um, mm -hmm. Um, necessarily take away from their athleticism, you know, their length. Um, you know, we can still do what we do well uh, or what I teach well, which is the up-tempo, you know, stuff like that. With, with, um, you know, Jemai's a very good athlete, and, you know, so is Gabe and, and Owen Kane and all those guys who are, who are taller on our team. Um, so I, I, I have a feeling that, you know, things maybe tweak the ball, obviously a lot more inside, play inside out. But uh, as far as the – the big X's and O stuff, I think, you know, they'll, they'll adjust to what we're trying to do and we'll adjust to them. Now, one last Building question. together is going to be important. Yeah. Okay. So one, one question before I turn it back to coach yeah. um, real quick, what is it going to take for you to get back here, coach? With this group? <laughs> Are you going to get back to this spot here with this group you got this year? Coach? That's what the, that's what the people want to know. <laughs> you know, the, that's the goal of every team is to be in that position and to be there. Um, it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of dedication by them, you know, the players and coaching staff to get us there. 
Um, you know, I, I'm fortunate enough to be in a situation where I know the work that goes into it because I've been around the coaches that have got us there before. And then uh, with me as the head coach, you know, two years ago to get there. So I think the kids understand that the players understand that uh, even the coaching staff knows what it's, what it's like to, to get us to a championship. And that's the goal of everybody. So I'm hoping that we're there. We're going to compete every night to get there. And uh, that's the, that's the goal. All right, coach, all yours. Speaking of which, you go from having a relatively young team last year with no height, really, no really um, inside presence, to you go to now the young season team nonetheless. Because like we mentioned, a lot of those guys are uh, Kalon Dixon and Jemiah Evans and someone, um, 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 Gabe Luca Rev made our Emoja 2 super sophomore list when they were sophomores on the uptick. Now you have these guys with a lot more experience under their belt coming in. You have a um a nice squad to run with Wagner, nice flashy little guard, quickness plays tough defense. You got Bob Catherwood, guy who's developing a shot, nice strong body on him. Um, you only lose two guys from that team here. So what it's like coming into a situation like that and being able to have some guys that's relatively young, you're gonna work with for another year or so, and um having kind of um all around things that you need on a team with inside quickness size only. yeah it's okay. it's a it's definitely a great situation to walk into um and i think their experience that they went through um, as juniors is going to be vitally important you know um there we're going to just operate under the things that we've learned you've learned the lessons as juniors now you have to look here and i think we did a great job with that uh you know when i was at troy we did the same thing with nizir and latisse um, when they were juniors, you know, we went through the struggles. We lost late game, lost in the quarterfinals of the sectionals. Those guys have, have went through it already and now are seniors, so they know how to handle themselves, you know what I mean? So there will be a lot more teaching uh, certain things that they can do for their teammates that are younger. Um, you know, I can rely on them to be a little bit more eyes and ears on the court and help the younger guys that are coming up to varsity for the first time. Uh, guys that you mentioned have been there. Um, you know, but I think having a well-balanced team that has shooting, that has bigger guys, but has athletes and height, um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. You just have to go in and put the work in to make sure that we execute and do the little things well that win basketball games. You know, you can have at all the height in the world and the best shooters are not executing. You're, not, you're turning the ball over. You're doing this. You're doing that. You know what I mean? Those are things that lose games. So we just got to focus on the details to get us in the right place to win the machine here and then put us in a great spot come February of next year.